The OHL looks ahead at each of our teams as the 2022-2023 season approaches. Joining me now is London Knights assistant coach Rick Stedman. Coach, thanks so much for joining me today. No problem all. Not all. Happy to be here. Heading into this new season, what makes the Knights exciting for the fans this year? You know, we got a lot of the young guys that uh, got some great skill. Uh, they can make plays out there. They're going to be able to play fast. Um, and it should be a fast-paced, enjoyable game for our 9,000 fans to come watch. Being a London Knight yourself once upon a time, is there still a thrill being able to coach this team in front of a full house at Budweiser Gardens? Absolutely. Um, it's a little different as a player. You can actually go out there and uh, make a play, but it's still walking out there, hearing the fans uh, scream, hearing them go nuts uh, for goals, for nice plays, for hands, block shots. It's it's an incredible place to play. Um, there's no better feeling. It appears that there's still life after Luke Evangelista and Antonio Stranges. Who do you kind of expect to be a point producer for your team this year? I, I think we got a, we got a few guys that can do it. We got a couple young kids in uh, Denver Barkey and Easton Cowan that they're coming up. It's their draft year. Uh, they, they show good skill, good talent. And then we got a few of our, our old four guys uh, that just got drafted this year. Um, we got Sim, uh, Landon Sim, uh, uh, Brody Crane, and these guys that they showed a lot of skill last year, just couldn't quite uh, get as, as much done as they wanted. So hopefully they make big steps this year for us. You've got some reliable names on the blue line. It would be great if Logan Mayu could have a full healthy season this year. What are you most looking forward to seeing some of those younger guys, though, step up like Dickinson and Bonk as this new season approaches? Yeah, it's always exciting when you have young guys coming up, especially with the talent of those two guys you just mentioned. Um, it's exciting for them. They get to learn off uh, uh, good, skilled, uh, older guys, which helps. Um, but yeah, we're just hoping they, they move the puck quick. Uh, they give us some good ozone time, stay out of the D, Z, D zone as much as they can and uh, just uh, be nice, steady defensemen and, and keep it simple for themselves. Kind of shifting over from the younger guys to the older guys again, you've had some big names move on after the last season. Who do you really expect to step up as a leader for the team this year? Yeah, we got three guys that hopefully will still step up for us in uh, Gil Martin, uh, McGurn, and uh, McHugh. Uh, McGurn was a captain last year as well. So they're big guys. Uh, they showed uh, good potential last year. McGurn got 75 points. The other guys played well, played hard. Um, so we're hoping they can lead on and off the ice and, and show the example of what we want uh, London Knights to be. And finally, what are the expectations for the London Knights as a franchise this year? You know, we always have high expectations. Uh, we always set our goals high. Um, hoping to, again, make the playoffs, uh, have a good playoff run. Um, if everything goes right, make it to the Memorial Cup. I think that's every team's goal. But uh, right now, it's just getting the guys ready. Um, again, we got a good uh, group of uh, older guys to lead and a good group of younger, skilled guys coming up behind them. So just trying to get all those guys in order um, and hopefully uh, have a good, exciting season for all the fans this year. Well, Coach, thank you so much for your time. I wish you and the team the best of luck as we head into this new year. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.